Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Hess. I'm a Power Platform developer. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. If you don't wanna like and subscribe, that's fine. Just check out this video. It's gonna be nice, short, and sweet. Today I wanted to talk about using the selected file, selected item trigger, instead of using modified or created by to trigger a Power Automate flow in your library list, or even I think you can do it from Teams. Uh, you can do it from like a message in Teams. But what I used to do was I used to trigger a flow based off if it was modified or created by. But now what I really like doing is doing it off selected file. So I created a flow here called give link in Teams. And I wanna show you how I created that using the selected item trigger. So let's say we have a document library. And this document library has some documents in there. And maybe we want to trigger a flow somehow. Maybe we want to send an alert. Maybe we want an approval. Um, there's a few different ways we can do things. So let's take a look at some of the templates that Microsoft provides us. So when I search templates, I have some options here. And I'm going to search for selected. And it's going to bring up some options here. Um, some of them that are available are like post a message when Microsoft sends from a selected item. There's a few other in here. Request manager approval. Um, Right here, create a planner task from a selected item, post a message to Microsoft Teams for a selected file. I think the one that I'm gonna do is this one. So I'm just gonna play around with this temp template. So for selected file, we're going to post a message. So you'll notice that our trigger is for selected file. I'm gonna connect to my SharePoint and that's the Sandbox uh, SharePoint site. So so I'm going to connect to Sandbox. On both of my trigger and action, we're going to both connect to Sandbox. And the library is called, I believe it's just my document library. So we'll just choose the documents. Okay, and then uh, finally in our last action, we're going to have the flow bot for the channel. Um, the channel will be my team, because this is a team, it's Sandbox. And the channel will be general. Okay, so right now we're just gonna post a message um, like, hey, check this out. Uh, we can you know, say, hey, check this out, um, post a message with the name of the document. All right, so let's change up our flow. Let's add a couple more variables in here. So you have to be very careful. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So we're gonna do date, and when we rename these things, so you notice it says trigger date here. I don't want it to say trigger date. I want it to say um, date needed by but let's say we come down to our message and we want to write it in right so if I write in date it brings in trigger date so it brings in the old um, variable so we're just gonna say I need this done by and then we'll put in the trigger date and then we'll do the same thing we'll add a yes or no approved by management and then we're gonna look for it down here. So if we typed in approved, you notice it's, it's gonna bring in nothing. But what we need to do is type in yes, no. And when we type in yes, no, it brings in that column. So let's say, was this approved by management? So this isn't very intuitive by Microsoft, but that's just how it works. I'm gonna put in a little bit of HTML in here couple breaks just to kind of you know spread it out so we have our selected file we added some new um, messages in here and we'll just call this um, message so we have message date needed by and approved by management and I'm just gonna hit save now another thing about when you do um, for selected file is you can't actually test you can do automatically if it happened before but there's no manual testing you have to come in here and actually run the test. So we're gonna come into one. Um, let's try regular document. And we will run automate. Another thing is we can run it from down here in the three ellipses, right? We can run it from here or we can run it from up here. So I'll just run it from, up, from down here. So we can see our message. Um, this is my new file. And the date needed by, we can now fill in that information. Was this approved by management? So we can say yes or no. And now we're gonna run flow again. 
So now let's check out teams. So we can see now in the general channel of my team, we can see that information and you can see the breaks in there. We have the date, we have this, was this approved by management? So we filled in some more information. I just wanted to create a short video this week, uh, show you guys the four selected file item, four selected message that SharePoint has and Teams has. Hopefully this was a nice, short, sweet video for you. My name is Andrew Hess. I'll see you next time.